Well, 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 I guess I'm not gonna be needing these glasses anymore. Get the heck out of here. I think it's time to put on some glasses that are a little more appropriate for my status. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Oh, my, my phone's ringing. My phone is ringing right now. Oh, oh my God. Maddie, yo, dude, what up? Hey, how's that Yandere theory coming on? Yeah, I, I know it was a good idea that I suggested that. And I feel like it's a it's a game that should have been covered like a long time ago, but it didn't. But no, I understand, like you made a mistake and I'm really glad that you're finally working on that since, uh, you know, you're my, you're my best friend. Yes, we will be getting champagne together. That is correct. I can't wait to see you there, okay? All right, all right, yeah, I, I gotta go. I'm recording a video, okay? All right, I got no time for you. All right, bye. That son of a gun. Oh, sorry guys. I know that seemed a little bit rude, but I was on the on the phone with my best friend, Matt Pat from Game Theory. Do you know, do you know who that is? I can't see anything in these glasses. <laughs> So in case you're new to the channel, uh, you may know me from Game Theory because uh, me and MatPat apparently did a, a little bit of a collab yesterday and a lot of you guys noticed it and you decided to tweet it to me. Definitely something I knew. I definitely I was not surprised at all because we we, the, we were in the talks. It, but of course, that's not something you guys would understand, okay? You low lives. But for your sake, I'm going to react to the video because I can't be bothered to watch my own stuff. But I thought since I'd show you guys. <laughs> this is dragging on for a little bit too long. <laughs> How does it feel to go from the one Yandere Simulator YouTuber to Matt Pat's best friend because that's definitely what you are now. I was always destined for greatness. That's what I that's what I like to believe in my heart. But you know, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. It's it's whatever. Uh, no, nah, but for real though, uh, I was actually really excited to see that I, I at least showed up in a video like that. I don't think I've ever been featured on a channel before, but I, I'm gonna react to that. But that's not all I'm gonna react to because Matt Pat did do a game theory on Bindi and the Ink Machine 2? I have no idea. See, that's the thing. When I was uh, away for a little bit, there was a trailer for a new Bindi game, which is extremely... I mean, I'm excited for it because you know I love Bindi on this channel, which, by the way, I guess this is probably not even worth it anymore, but... Bindi, rise again if you can even still rise. <laughs> oh, Bindi is just definitely not looking so good. He is not looking very hot now. He just wants to die. <laughs> He's pleading for death. <laughs> Oh my god, he's as spry as ever. I mean, he just feels revitalized now. I mean, honestly, he's actually standing kind of okay for now, but hopefully the air conditioner is not too too strong or else I'll fall over. Thanks, thanks for joining me, Bindi, today. Okay, thank you for rising once again. Before I take a look at Matt Pat's video and kind of react to some of that and just like uh, stuff like that, I want to react to the new trailer reveal. I'm, I know I'm really late, so if you've already seen it, I hope you enjoy my thoughts on it at least. Let's take a look. I mean, I honestly, what are they gonna do? I really don't know. I have no idea what they're gonna be doing with this. Uh, oh, also there's a new game reveal too that I think I would like to take a look at. Uh, again, I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea where they could go. I mean, there was a lot of things that I, I think I, a lot of people wanted from Bindi and the Meek Machine. I, I don't know if this is just like another cartoon, but yeah. Got the chains. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Okay, Alice. Oh. Don't let the darkness take Let's get hype, guys. You may walk with angels. Uh huh. Or cower before demons. Uh huh. But one thing always remains. The ink machine is back. Why though? The choices you make. Okay. And oh, it's like. Bendy and the Dark Revival. They are already rebooting the franchise. <laughs> Dang, man, these, these freaking reboots are just coming left and right these days. Oh, oh, no, we gotta download this video now and freeze frame that. Oh, oh, no, oh. It was very subtle, guys. Did you miss it? What was that? Looks like Boris. That's a weird looking Bendy. Am I the only one? Like, what's wrong with what? What happened to his head? Is it just because of like the frame that I'm in? Okay, I have to, I'm gonna have to look at that. All right, there's a little more. Sorry guys, I just, I like to get very technical with these, you know? Chapter one begins this year. So it's just a completely new game. 
Oh, okay. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited for that. I was like a little sad when Bindi ended. I was like, man, like from the ranch. Gonna be oh, hi, Ty Lopez. Another one of my famous buddies. Cause you know, we just, I'm just always hanging out with the famous people and uh, my life is amazing. All right. Okay, so that's definitely not Bindi, but all I do see the gloves. And uh, if anything, it looks like one of the butcher gang. Uh, yeah, it looks like the butcher gang. That's what I'm getting out of that with their weird heads. Or it's just a new enemy altogether. Maybe it's not even Bindi anymore. I don't freaking know. But you know, we're gonna we use my editing skills to enhance. As you can see, it's becoming much more clear. I don't know if you guys can see the subtle details, but he's holding something. Hmm. Behold, ah! your new enemy. <laughs> okay, but for reals though, thinking about it, at the end of Bindi, where we kind of left off, it ended with the little girl saying, tell me another story. So I don't know if this is just going to be another story, but the fact that the game is called a dark revival, maybe uh, it means that someone's going to try to basically continue what Joey Drew uh, left off. You know, he's gonna, they're going to try to continue his legacy. Maybe it could be a son, a granddad. A, <laughs> no, it's not a granddad. <laughs> a grandson. Because as we know, uh, you know, in, in the universe of Bendy and the Ink Machine, it's based off of a cartoon and a lot of things get rebooted because that is just the thing to do these days. Every, every single thing is being brought back because of nostalgia. Nostalgia makes a lot of moolah, all right? And it's coming this year. That's uh, pretty interesting. I can't wait to see what it is. I mean, a lot of people I know weren't very happy with the ending. I know a lot of you guys probably weren't happy. I, I thought it was cool, but I would like to see more. I'm really, really hoping that we get to see more of the real world in this one, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, so now it's time to look at my cameo. Also, I have not watched this video at all, so I would like to know what MatPat actually thinks of it. I'm only gonna react to like some parts of it. It says Bendy and the Dark Revival, so MatPat always has the bomb theory, so let's see what that's about. Again, I will link MatPat's channel down below. I uh, appreciate you featuring me. I'm hoping it's in a positive way. <laughs> Turns out MatPat just does this hit piece on me. He's like, whoa, <laughs> I'm sorry, what did I do? Bendy and the Dark Revival, huh? Sounds interesting. Whoa! MatPat in an actual game theory? What the heck? My last episode on the game where we covered the design did I see that one? of characters who melt away being did. creatures who are made entirely of ink uh -huh. versus those whose bodies persist after being killed. Those are the ones that are infused with real human souls. Yeah. I mean, it's an I extremely agree. subtle detail in the game design. And at no point does the game actually spell it out for you, but it's essential for understanding basically the entire plot of this game. Everything from how the ink machine works to the meaning of the ending. I agree. It isn't spelled out. A lot of things aren't really spelled that at all you really got to figure it out for yourself but for a person that's not willing to put in that much work like Matt Pat does I think yeah I think I can see why they were a bit disappointed but I, I do love the mystery and I think the mystery is what keeps the hype of these games and uh, we're seeing that a lot with these indie games I also do remember too at the end of Bindi and the Ink Machine uh, there you you were able to see like the uh, this old looking ink machine that's still in Joey Drew's house. So I believe it was Joey Drew's house. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. You know, I don't do too much research, but maybe that ink machine also could have something to do with this because honestly, like think about it, having that sort of power, uh, would be amazing to, to actually like turn people into ink monsters or to turn cartoons into real life is insane power to actually have. So I can see why there would be a sequel to the game. Uh, maybe that, that, that power which, you know, the trailer did focus on the ink machine. Of course, it would be harnessed by somebody else. There's no way it would just be... No one would try to take advantage of that. A bad person, obviously. So now, Henry has to come back. But the, the second part that confuses me really bad is the fact that it was all a story. So what is this power of the ink machine? Is it even real or was it all in an imagination? That's the thing that I don't know and something that maybe someone else, maybe another YouTuber explained that. Maybe he's going to explain it here. I don't really know. But those are the questions that I had. Was it all real or not? Because I was expecting everyone to just like, you know, at the end of the game, Alice Angel and everybody walks out of the amusement park, the, um, the studio and sees sunlight for the first time and they like melt off and then it shows the real girl that uh, the real people that's behind Boris and everything like that. And they got released. That's what I was th that's what I was thinking is gonna happen. Then it's like, oh no, tell me another story. And then we saw the, the picture. So I don't know if it's all just a figment of someone's um, imagination. Uh, cue the montage. Oh, okay. No, no, why? Are you kidding me? Sammy Lawrence? 
<laughs> uh, uh, it's calling again. Matt Pack, I'm trying to react to our cameo, okay? All right. I wish you would have put me in a little longer. A lot of you guys tweeted me uh, and noticed that. Hey, I'm, I'm just glad to get any screen time at all. All right. Uh, thank you for featuring me. And like uh, the fact that he puts the names and everything like that, it's like, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Matt Pat. I, I've been a big fan for a long time. Hey, look at that hair, though. It's like my hair is so lame now. <laughs> I do not like my natural hair at all. Well, like, it's just so damaged from the constant dying, but yeah. I want to go back to green. I really do. I I, I feel, every time I look at him, like, ah, oh, I look so good right there. But you can see Bindi in the background. He's like, hey, that's me. So really, it's just Bindi getting the, the, the cameo, not me. Gamers across YouTube were shooketh by this revelation, but if we... It, yeah, I was, I was shooketh by the revelation. From my understanding, it sounds like the ink machine can make clones of people, as many as they want, and some are good and some are bad, but in this case, uh, apparently all the Sammy Lawrences are bad. Uh, I have no idea. That's all I, that's all that we, we, we knew. So I mean, he's probably gonna explain it here. But if we look closer at that moment, we'll actually notice more of Sammy's ritual candles set up around that inky pool with Sammy's iconic mask hidden on the ground just behind it. Sammy was here too, trying to summon something. The ink demon? We can't really know for sure. Maybe he was successful. <laughs> On one hand, it's like, that could be an interesting detail that, like, I've never noticed. But also, on the other hand, it could just be looking too much into it. I never thought to pay attention to the can- It's all in the candles! Bendy and the Dark Revival is not a sequel. There's the tweet oh, right there. Oh, I didn't know that. Looking at the evidence square in your Thanks, face. Thanks, Matt, Pat. And yes. Internet. I know that my I best Benji friend in the title of this video, but guess what? Sometimes you got to introduce people to a new game based on, you know, traditional titling conventions. Yes. Okay. This is another thing. All right. Since we're on the topic. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Sometimes you got a title and, and it could be seen as clickbaity, but that is the way people get to see it. Okay. Uh, I will say that like a lot of people have been giving Matt Pat uh, a lot of crap about him being like too clickbaity or him doing this and doing that. To me, literally, he's just doing what any other YouTuber does. Especially for his line of work, you gotta get people excited about something some way or another. And yeah, I could see how it could come off wrong uh, sometimes, but like I, as a, especially as a YouTuber, like, I do not blame him at all. And I think, I think people give him way too much crap, especially with all the work that they actually goes in to their videos and uh, I think it's also cool the fact that he's actually putting himself in the videos and, and I know why for the most part it probably saves a lot of time uh, so you can come out with videos uh, a little bit faster uh, so like I I totally stand by it. I, I think I think it's great. Okay. All right I know I'm, I'm biased because we're best friends But yeah, I think people give him way too much crap for what he deserves I don't know. I think he's, he seems like a pretty great guy to be honest But my whole point is that the fact that you know, he's addressing it that it's yeah It's not a sequel. He titled it Bendy 2. I understand uh, why he did that. You just gotta get the eyes, alright? And then they understand. It's not like he isn't putting out quality entertainment. Like, it's honestly really good. Like, I put out stupid titles all the time. Uh, it's just to get people to see. That's it. Okay, so if it's not a prequel and it's not a sequel, then there's multiple Bendy cartoons, and that's something that doesn't get really, like, addressed a lot. Throughout the whole entire studio, we've seen all the posters of the cartoons that Bendy has been in, including all the little kind of cartoons that, uh, Joey, you know, that Meatly posted and stuff like that. I always thought that they could do so much as a DLC or whatever form that you like to call it, they could have made more Bendy stuff because there's more cartoons and more stories to be told that, like, him and Boris is in. So this is what I think. Uh, at the end, it's like kind of obvious like oh, tell me another story Well, maybe it is just gonna be another story Therefore it would not be a sequel or a, pre a prequel, but it would be starring the same exact characters <laughs> Hire me Matt Pat, but I guess it does have to connect to the story somehow uh, And maybe all these cartoons that are gonna be coming out will lead up to a resolution of some sort Maybe all of these stories that are gonna that are gonna be told are gonna be put together to reveal the bigger picture. The listed date of that recording? April 14th. Questionable year. 414 again. Whoa, so very my mind is blown. The There's a new character? So How very interesting. Such knowledge. Got it. Orochimaru is going to be in Bendy. It sounds just like him. <laughs> Even talked about knowledge as well. Okay, yeah, sorry. Weeb. But well, that's the Weeb side. All right. The title reveals 414. So there's going to be a new, probably, villain or something like that. I'm, that's what I'm guessing. And again, I think it could just be from another cartoon, you know? 
telling a bigger picture of the story. I think that, you know, that's all we can really go off of, really. A lot of people are saying that it's actually the voice of, of Bendy. Like, Bendy's talking himself. So, uh, again, wasn't that, like, Matt Pat's theory that, that Bendy was actually Joey Drew? I don't think we ever actually got to know that at all, right? It was because, again, we don't know if it's real or not. <laughs> I don't know. My head hurts. That's pretty much my thoughts on it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. There's also a new game as well that I think I, I need to take a look at real quick. I I mean, I'm not going to re react to it in another video, but I thought since we're here, let's take a look at it. Uh, it's by the same developers, so that's something interesting. So this is the new game. Now, I don't think this this has nothing to do with Bindi, but, you know, since we're on the topic, let's take a look at it. It's like a puppet. Okay. Okay, showdown bandit cut the strings this year. That's 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 unique Well, it's definitely a horror game of some sort whatever that is I don't know what to think about that though, but I'm interested It's I, I think it's interesting to see their takes on their style of, of things that they do like okay It's versus cartoons and now it's puppets. So they seem to kind of like to go uh, well, I mean, the puppets aren't really surprising because if you look at the Meatly, he is literally a puppet. So to explore puppets as a horror game, uh, that hasn't really been done before. I mean, of course, they have the animatronics, but not puppets. So, hey, I'm really excited. Uh, I loved, you know, they, they did an amazing job with Bendy. And uh, it's interesting to see them actually taking on another project like this on top of apparently a an, uh, a side story of, of a Bendy game. So I really, uh, I'm excited. They've been really, really nice. Uh, every time I've talked to like the uh, Meatly and, and the developers like that, they've been super, super nice. And uh, I'm su as a fan of, of the studio, uh, not just Joey Drew, but as Kindly Beast, uh, I can't wait to see. All right, so leave, guys, leave your thoughts down below. I want to know what you think the new game is going to be about the Dark Revival. Don't forget to check out MatPat uh, down below. I did react to some clips, but I, I did not react to the entire thing. So thank you, Bestie, for <laughs> showing me in the video. I, it is an honor. I'm really glad to see that. It was freaking awesome. All right, drop a like down below if you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this talk that we had. All right, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.